So this question says, if 2n divided by 5 equals 10, what is the value of 2n minus 1? So this is a simplified question, right? I know it's a simplified question because it's short. Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long. And because it contains an equation or expression, in this case, we're provided with an equation, but we're asked about the value of this expression here. So this one contains both an equation and an expression. So what we want to do is we want to go to uh, the equation in this case and see, well, what can I simplify? So I'm going to rewrite the equation, 2n divided by 5 equals 10. And I'm going to keep in mind that I want to figure out what 2n minus 1 is. I'm not trying to determine the value of n. I'm trying to determine the value of 2n minus 1. Now, the truth is I can find the value of n, right? So I can find multiply both sides by 5 here. That will give me 2n equals 50. I can then divide by 2 on both sides here, and I get n equals 25. And thankfully, right, 25 is not an option here, but a lot of students, because they're not reading the question carefully, may just go on and choose A because 24 is the closest, and they assume they made a mistake here somehow. But keep in mind, the question is asking for 2n minus 1. So I'm going to now say, well, okay, 2n minus 1, well, that's 2 times n. Well, I know now that n is 25. Right, so 2n is the same as 2 times 25 minus 1. 2 times 25 is 50, so I have 50 minus 1, and that is equal to 49. So the answer here is choice B.